Well, that was a waste. Just shot a video. What's up? Just wanted to give everybody a little uh, what I've been up to video. I'm going to post up some cutting videos tonight, but if you go to our Facebook page, um, Pirate Solutions Custom Woodworking and Toolsmithing, you can kind of see what we've been up to. We had a few higher end uh, big projects to do that we just got done with, so now I'm back cutting again. Um, milling some uh, big massive oak uh, for a customer three inch thick slabs for them to use in their business and uh, cutting firewood for them kind of with the crazy way uh, that all these fuel and oil prices are and natural gas we're anticipating that the winter is going to be a big uh, firewood season so they hired me to cut their wood their guys cut they got tons of saws I fix all their saws for them but uh, their guys aren't really good at cutting in dirty wood and cutting in snags. So I'm cutting in a huge old pile of oak logs. Uh, it's just a nasty big snag, about two quarts, say every a half day. Um, then they send in a crew after me to with a, a bobcat and a splitter on a bobcat and they split everything up, take it out. Then I go in again and cut more for them. Uh, it takes me about two hours to give them a day's full of splitting a day full of splitting and I'm milling some big oak so I'm gonna post videos up tonight um, it's really dusty we had a close contact with COVID so we're kind of I'm getting tested tomorrow night I have no symptoms um, wife's friend came in from New Jersey um, she got a call from her wife and her wife said she was positive so then she tested up here and she was positive we had pretty close contact with her so we're kind of staying away from people for right now but I know that I haven't posted any videos in a while and I wanted to post up um, some milling today put some pictures up on Pirate Solutions of the milling too and on Facebook you guys feel free to check out my uh, pictures on Facebook. All my profiles and everything are all public, so anybody can look at it. Uh, but, yeah, quick little video just to give you uh, a heads up of what we're doing. And we got a insulation crew at the house insulating the entire house. We have a mid-1800s farmhouse. Um, fairly big. cellar granite foundation and uh, Massachusetts God bless them is nice enough to seal up our whole house sent in a crew they did an energy audit and um, they, they got tons of tons of federal funding for the project and uh, they sent in a crew to seal up the whole house underneath walls, attics, roof, rafters, everything. Uh, you're going to turn it into a rubber glove, which is going to be good for the winter. Um, because the house has really never really been insulated. You know, anytime that anybody's done an addition over the years, it insulated that. But the old uh, horsehair plaster on the walls and the lath and the outside walls have never been insulated underneath is never insulated it's usually where all our drafts come from up through the hardwood floors so that's gonna be nice uh, they're gonna seal all that bottom up but so that's really uh, what we've been up to we've been um, Kate's been on the men she ran the Bobcat for me today moving slabs because they were big big monster three inch thick oak slabs I'm running 56 inch bar cutting them just too big for my uh, 42 on the 36 which maxes out the 36. They're just too big for that. So I had to jump up to the 48. Um, the 48 inch mill makes it through by a couple of inches on a couple of spots and we're on the 56 inch bar. So it was pretty heavy duty cutting. I did something different today. I ran full chisel semi skip. I was going through my chain boxes and I only have three chains for my 56. And, uh, 
one of them was damaged I was doing a job for a customer big silver maple and I hit granite rocks inside the tree and um, I had made up I, I had ordered some chains and they came through full chisel semi uh, semi skip and um, I made up chains for the 56 out of this loop I mean out of a roll and I've never used them and I ran semi skip today and it's it's nice from this it's slower than full comp but it, it really keeps the uh, it's it's easy on the throttle it's you really can uh, moderate the throttle really well it doesn't drag the saw down at all I mean I can push on it as hard as I want and doesn't even drag the saw down so that's kind of nice but it's just slower although I'm getting through the cuts on one take of fuel so so far three cuts and every cut has been one tank of fuel um, but yeah so that's what we're up to so check out our um, Facebook site you can see the projects we just got done with some really funky ones pretty cool stuff just uh, also I've been running pine logs from a job down in Barnstable about 20 miles away um, left the bobcat over there for a couple of weeks and I've been running logs out of a job down there for so we can cut uh, dimensional lumber for a shop out back but that's down the road so they're just logs right now but that's what I've been doing so I hope you guys all have a great day and I want to post up some cutting videos tonight um, thanks for checking in